Throughout history, people and civilizations have told stories through symbols and through stories. It's how they spread their culture and what's about them. Hello, I'm Steve Hoffa, President of Canon Safe, and I'm going to tell you a story about our symbol, about the challenge coin for the coin as we refer to it. A coin has come has started as far back as Roman times. Soldiers after a battle would provide, would, would receive their daily pay, and if they did a good job in battle, they would receive a special coin that was marked different. They could cash it in on wine and women, but usually they kept it as something very personal because it meant part of their unit. So that's some of the earliest histories that we know from a coin. A little bit more modern time, up at World War II, a uh, high-ranking officer in a flight squadron made his own coins and he put his unit and the flight squadron on the coin. And during that time in World War II, a pilot crashed into Germany. He eventually escaped. And as an escape, he was captured by the French. Well, on his person, around his neck, in a little leather bag, was a small coin, that coin. And through the interrogation, the French were ready to execute him. But one of the French officers noticed that coin and realized that the story he was telling was very true. So they spared his life and sent him back to his unit. A little bit more earlier, uh, Colonel Buffalo Bill Quinn in the Korean War minted a coin with the Buffalo Bill symbol and the 17th Regiment that he was part of. And he would give that coin out to his soldiers. So that's the earliest known time that we had where coins were minted. In World War II, right after World War II, many of the Americans started doing a German tradition which was called a Fenning check. A Fenning was the lowest denomination of the German currency at the time, a very small little coin. And in a bar or in a club, you would be challenged with a Fenning where they would slap it on the table. And if you didn't have your Fenning, you would have to buy the beers for that person to challenge. So that's where the challenge part started. In, in Vietnam, Special Forces started minting coins, of which I was part of for 20 years. And that's where a lot of the military challenge came, that people understand is the challenge coin. You would have that no matter where you were, you always had to have your coin with you. So it represented the esprit de corps, it represented the camaraderie you had with that particular unit. And you always had to have your coin. If you didn't, you usually had to buy beer, or you had to do some sort of task that was not very pleasant. So that's where a lot of the challenge coins came from. You'll see in modern day, challenge coins are used by lots of different people, lots of different organizations, companies, and things like that. Even the president, secretary of defense, they have challenge coins. And theirs is usually passed by a handshake. They'll have them in his hand, they'll handshake them to the individual that's getting it. It's a very high honor to receive one of those coins. And lots of people collect various coins. So that's the general history on a challenge coin. How did we come about having a coin in our culture? Well, it started with when I was the gun vault salesman and starting on the Canon side, I wanted to have a coin that we could leave with our customers. I wanted something that I could give them that they could accept, because a lot of times they can't accept things, and hopefully would be on their desk. And when they had a problem or an issue, maybe they would see that coin and think, I'll call them. So that was my thought process. At the time, we had a great graphic artist designer, Claudia, so I started challenging Claudia to design a coin. And this was back in 2012. And she was a great artist. She made little symbols of deer and bears and eagles and all these different things. She would present a design to me. I'm like, you know, Claudia, I don't know what it is, but that's not it. It's a great drawing. You mean you did a good job? That's not it. Go back. We probably did that four or five times. I'm sure Claudia was very frustrated with me. I can't get this right for this guy. What's wrong with him? What does he want? So she kept coming, she kept coming back. And I'm like, you know, we're not really a hunting company. So the animals didn't have a personal meaning. It was just some animal. And the idea was to have a different coin every year, different animals and stuff. So she finally came out with this coin. And this is one, if you can see that, is the handle, a five spoke handle of the safe. And on it has our core values, which means a lot to us. As soon as I saw it, I knew that was it. That was the first coin. And from that though, the purpose of the coin for us as a culture changed completely. The 
because it had the core values on it and it had our, our various different companies on it, we started using it differently because we could hold this in our hand and we could talk to our people about the culture and the core values and it meant something. So this was our very first coin, the one with the five spoke handles. Then the goal was we need a different coin every year so that you can grow the history because as our culture is relatively new compared to others, we want to be able to develop a history. So for example, 25 years from now, we'll have 25 different coins and you'll know who was around the longest by looking, I still got the very first one. I've been here forever kind of mentality. So pretty exciting. So we've come out with different coins throughout the years. Second coin, a little bit different. It just talked about our core values. The core values was actually written on it, the words, and we went through that. What was exciting though, 2013 was our 50th year anniversary. So we came out with a very special coin. We still do it in pewter, but we have a coin that has silver from Nevada and gold from Nevada. And that's a, a very honored coin to have like that. Then we keep evolving. 2014, 15, we started a thing called well hunting. So we took those themes, those cultures, and those stories that we were telling, and we evolved it to a coin that has well hunting on it. And as always, our coin always has our core values. It always has our core values. And our current coin, still, still in the well hunting theme, but different message. The message is unleash the hunt and harvest. So you'll see the back again. Our core values are on it, and the color is crimson red to represent the blood from the hunt and the harvesting of the animals. So there's a lot of symbolisms in our coin. The symbolisms and the stories help us transcend our culture and our core values down to our employees. So now why is this coin so important to us? We don't use it as a challenge coin. Nobody has to pull it out, and if you don't have it, you don't buy a beer. You might be ridiculed, you might be teased or something like that if you don't have it, but it means a lot for us. All of our employees carry it. Occasionally somebody will forget one and they usually won't like the results. They'll be, not yelled at, but they'll be teased and whatnot. But I carry my coin with me all the time. On the weekends, no matter where I go. Because sometimes I've pulled it out and people go, well, what's that? It allows me to tell us our story. It allows us to tell us about who we are. And who we are is about growing people both personally and professionally. And at the end of the day, this coin represents that. We hire and fire people based on our coin. We do crucial conversations based on our coin. These, cult, these core values mean everything to us. And they're hard to live. They're a challenge. We often struggle with one or two of them at any given time, all of us, including myself. If you struggle with all of them, it's usually not good. It means you're probably not fitting with our culture. But because our culture is so strong and we follow the coin so much, it's, it means a lot to be able to sit there and talk to somebody and have a crucial conversation. You know, are you genuinely improving? Are you showing respect? Are you showing loyalty? You have the yearn to learn. Actions speak louder than words. And you love change. So the coin means very much to us. You should be honored to carry it. You should be honored to have it. And I hope that you enjoy this presentation.